And we're six tango tango. You're set. You're seven miles from Seal Beach. Flighting of three six zero. Traffic. Crossing Traffic. Two thousand six hundred. Clear view off a of circle runway two four approach. Uh, fly. What was that again? Three six zero. Three six zero. Uh, approved for the VR Alpha Fullerton. Uh, uh, cross Seal Beach at or above, above 2,600. Hotel, resume Good. On so I did that for you. Now which button did we say we'll press? Six, tango, Good. Tango, that's cross Seal Beach at 2,600. Cross Seal Beach at 2,600. Perfect. And now it's coming in. Good. And we're cleared six, for the approach. So next I'll tell you to do what? Have an aircraft below you. Uh, Contact uh, tower. Good. So would it be a good idea to have that on standby? Just trying to think of all the different ways we could stay ahead of the airplane. Absolutely solid. Good right? learning. Yeah. I need to be a little more reactive with uh, instructions, especially headings. Uh -huh. uh, like as soon as I start talking, start talking, start turning. Exactly. Uh, don't don't uh, do any one function halfway. And let me right. say, right, and I'll say something about that. That instruction, that long instruction that they give you before they clear you for an approach, which is typically the longest, big, most amount of words, right? Right turn 350, 2600, still established, cleared VOR Alpha into Fullerton. That's a lot of words. What's the first thing they tell you in that whole jabungle? The heading. Heading. Right. Why is that first and not last? Because they want you to start turning. Does that make sense? Right. They give it to you first, and they assume that your finger is doing that, and then they keep talking. Right. Does so that make sense? Trying to remember all that, then go back. Exactly. So the I first get, thing you get wrong. is the heading. Okay, cool. Start twisting it while they're talking. Once they're done talking, the plane should be on that heading already. Right. Make sense? Yep. Good. Yep. Okay. Yep.